Oh, oh, there you are. Uh, hi, it's 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 Richie, right? I'm Dr. Nielsen. Hi, Dr. Nielsen. Uh, sorry, I'm late. You know what it's like being a grown-up. There's no one to stop you from having a second piece of milk cake. Mm -hmm. uh, milk cake? Yeah, you know, cake you with milk. Dad hated it when mom tried to give him something other than milk to drink with his milk cake. I'm on dad's side for that one. Do you like milk cake? Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. So, if, you know, if I eat cake, I, I just usually drink water. <laughs> water cake? Yuck. That, no thanks. Okay, then. Um, are we ready to get started? I am. But do you need to go to your room and wash up first? Because if you do, I'll wait. No, I, I, um, I, I don't need to go to my room. Seriously, I don't mind waiting. Uh, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid and told to go to my room to wash up or get ready for bed, I'd go, you know, thinking everyone was doing the same thing. <laughs> Took me years to realize that it was just an excuse to get me out of the room while the adults had a bunch of fun without me. Now, I don't play that game. But I promise I won't have any fun until you get back. No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, then. Ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just want to make a little quick note. Okay. All you know, right. there's something about you that reminds me of Alan Brady, but I can't quite figure it out. Alan Brady. I'm, I'm, I'm not familiar with an Alan Brady. Seriously? Well, that's super weird. Okay, uh, so Richie, um, why do you want to see me? Well, Dr. Nielsen, there's a couple of things. First, when I was a kid, there was laughter after nearly everything I said. Okay, you were a funny child. I guess. I mean, I'm not 100% positive, but there was definitely laughter all the time. I see, okay. And, uh, and, and who was laughing? I'm not sure. Uh, was it your parents? Oh, no, no. They got laughed at even more than me. Okay. Uh, well, can you give me an example? Oh, you bet. See, sometimes dad would trip over the ottoman. Massive laugh. Other times he'd make a big point about not tripping over the ottoman. Still got a humongous laugh. A laugh from... Oh, oh and mom would say things like, Oh, Rob! <laughs> oh, Rob was funny? Well, you had to be there. See, Rob is my dad's name, Rob Petrie. And oh, Rob would always get a huge howl. A huge howl from, from whom? Hey, Dr. Nielsen, did you ever have the feeling that someone was watching you and not just a giant woodpecker? Oh, I have, you know, except for the giant woodpecker part. Well, my entire childhood was kind of like that. I could hear laughing, but I couldn't see who was doing the laughing. You heard invisible voices. That's it. Voices laughing at things your family said and, and, and did. Exactly. Oh, it's so nice to be understood. Yeah, I understand. So you want to make the laughing stop? Oh, no. I want to hear it again. I miss it. I want to say, Daddy, where do babies come from? And then just wait for the roar. Uh-huh. Okay, well, you know, uh, let's 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 stick a little pin in that for just a minute. Um, you said there were a couple of things you would like to discuss. What else? Well, now that I'm older and bald, mm -hmm. I'm afraid people will laugh at me. You you just said you you wanted people to laugh at you. Oh, laugh at me, but not laugh at me. Get it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not really. No. See, my dad was a comedy writer for the Alan Brady show. Now, do you remember him? No. Wow, that's just bizarre. <laughs> anyway, dad wrote with Buddy and Sally, who were very funny. But Buddy was pretty tough on a guy in the office named Mel. And Sally would laugh right along with Buddy's jokes. Sally was an actual person laughing. She wasn't just the sound of laughing. So you really get me. So I'm, I'm assuming this Mel was bald. Oh, big time. See, Buddy said nearsighted ostriches would try to jump on Mel's head and hatch it. Yuck. Exactly. And now I'm the bald one. Oh, I know why you remind me of Alan Brady. The bald thing. 
I'm sure you can relate to that. Why, why would you believe I can relate to baldness? Oh, come on, Dr. Nielsen. I was raised in a family that knows how to spot a toupee. By the way, if you'd like to donate yours at some point, my mother made a list of needy bald people. I, I can forward it to you. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, um, <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Uh, so, needy bald people. So, uh, uh, Richie, uh, is there anything else you'd like to mention? No, just that I have a fear of getting my toe stuck in a bathtub faucet. And walnuts remind me of an alien version of Danny Thomas. Okay. Yeah, but it's nothing I can't live with. I mean, I take showers. And when I donate to St. Jude's Children's Hospital, I just avoid looking at the brochure. Uh -huh. Smart. Uh, so Richie, what happened to your parents? Well, dad left comedy writing and became a chimney sweep for a while. <laughs> we call it his bad cockney accent phase. That's interesting and unique. Uh, and your mother? Uh, she became an associate producer of the news at a local television station in Minneapolis. Well, that sounds like a nice, healthy job. Yeah, but there were still a lot of workplace ball jokes. Mm. Well, from what you're telling me, the, the, the bald bashing does seem to be a recurring theme in your childhood. Yeah, I mean, thanks, Doc. I really feel like we're on the same page about stuff. Well, except for the Alan Brady. You've never heard of him? I haven't. That's sort of freaking me out. I mean, everybody I know watched the Alan Brady show. How did you miss it? Oh, were you Amish? N no. That's so weird. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, Richie, here's what I'm going to suggest. Um, why don't you follow a bit in your, in your father's footsteps and, you know, experiment with writing comedy yourself. You, you could try some stand up and maybe get some laughs from real people, you know, who are actually in the same room as you. I like that. Well, what about the bald thing? Uh, well, you know, steal some of Buddy's jokes and, and make fun of it yourself. Oh, you mean like my hair didn't fall out, it fell in and clawed my brain. <laughs> That's a good one. Yes. Okay, start with that. Oh, thanks, Dr. Nielsen. You're the best. I'll see you. Bye. <sighs> okay, do they really give used to paste and needy bald people? <laughs> Hello? Needy bald people? <laughs> um, Daddy, where do babies come from? <laughs> okay, I really need to check the expiration date on my blood pressure pills.